Nintendo started in 1889, a time when the world was vastly different from today. Initially, it was a playing card company. They specialized in making Hanafuda cards, which were traditional Japanese playing cards. These cards were immensely popular in Japan, and Nintendo thrived on this success. However, they were not content with just one line of business. Over the years, Nintendo tried their hand at various other ventures. For instance, they even ran a taxi service, which was quite an unusual move for a company known for playing cards. Eventually, Nintendo set its sights on the burgeoning video game industry. They saw potential in this new form of entertainment. The arcade game, Space Invaders, was very popular at the time, capturing the imagination of gamers everywhere. Inspired by this success, Nintendo wanted to create their own hit games that would captivate audiences. They released several arcade games, hoping to make a mark in the industry. Unfortunately, these initial games did not perform well in the market, leading to some disappointment. Realizing the need for a breakthrough, Nintendo's executives knew they needed a hit game to secure their future. They set their sights on the lucrative North American market, which was rapidly growing and full of potential. However, the North American market was highly competitive, with many companies vying for the attention of gamers. To succeed, Nintendo needed a game that would stand out from the rest, something truly unique and engaging. The success of this game would be crucial, as it would ultimately decide Nintendo's future in the gaming industry. Shigeru Miyamoto was a young designer at Nintendo, full of creativity and ambition. He was always looking for new ways to entertain and engage players. One day, he had an idea for a new arcade game that would be different from anything else on the market. He envisioned a game that combined action, adventure, and a compelling storyline. This game was called Donkey Kong. It was a bold and innovative concept that would soon capture the hearts of gamers everywhere. In Donkey Kong, a giant ape kidnaps a woman, setting the stage for an epic rescue mission. The storyline was simple yet captivating. The player controls a character named Jumpman, who would later become known as Mario. Jumpman was an everyman hero, relatable and determined. Jumpman must navigate through various levels, avoiding obstacles and enemies, to rescue the woman from Donkey Kong's clutches. Each level presented new challenges and excitement. Donkey Kong was a huge success, drawing crowds to arcades everywhere. Players were hooked by its unique gameplay and engaging story. It was a hit in both Japan and North America, bridging cultural gaps and uniting gamers with its universal appeal. People loved the game's characters. They loved the gameplay. The combination of action, strategy, and a heroic quest made it irresistible. Jumpman became a recognizable character a symbol of bravery and perseverance. He was more than just a game character. He was an icon. He was brave, agile, and always ready to face any challenge. His determination inspired players to keep trying, no matter how tough the game got. He was determined to save the woman, and his relentless spirit made him a true hero in the eyes of gamers everywhere. Miyamoto wanted to make Jumpman more interesting. He wanted to give him a profession. He considered making Jumpman a carpenter. He even thought about making him a soldier. Miyamoto decided to make Jumpman a plumber. At the time, Nintendo of America was renting a warehouse. The landlord of the warehouse was Mario Segal. He looked a lot like Jumpman. Miyamoto decided to rename Jumpman to Mario. Mario was a simple name. It was easy to remember. Mario the plumber was born. Super Mario Bros. – A Revolution in Gaming In 1985, Nintendo released the Nintendo Entertainment System, or NES, which would change the gaming landscape forever. The NES was a home console that brought arcade-quality games into the living room. Nintendo wanted a flagship game for the NES to showcase its capabilities and attract gamers. Visionary game designer Shigeru Miyamoto created Super Mario Bros., a game that would become iconic. The game starred Mario and his brother Luigi as they embarked on an epic adventure. Their mission was to save Princess Toadstool from the evil Bowser, adding a compelling storyline. Super Mario Bros. was a huge hit, captivating players of all ages and revolutionizing video games. The game featured colorful graphics and catchy music that became instantly recognizable. The gameplay was challenging, but incredibly fun. 
keeping players engaged for hours. Super Mario Bros. made Mario a superstar, leading to a wide range of merchandise and spin-off games. Mario became the face of Nintendo, symbolizing the company's innovation and success in the gaming industry. Beyond the Mushroom Kingdom, Mario's genre-bending adventures. Mario became more than just a plumber, he starred in many different types of games. Mario became a race car driver in Mario Kart. He played sports in games like Mario Tennis and Mario Golf. He even became a doctor in Dr. Mario. Mario's games were always popular, they were fun for all ages. People loved the different worlds, they loved the different characters. Mario games were always innovative. They pushed the boundaries of what video games could be. Mario's enduring legacy, a global icon. Mario is one of the most recognizable characters in the world. He is more than just a video game character. He is a cultural icon. Mario has appeared in movies. He has appeared in TV shows. He even has his own theme park attractions. Mario represents fun and adventure. He represents creativity and innovation. Mario's legacy will continue for generations. He is a reminder that video games can be art. He is a reminder that video games can bring people together.